Fish and I will be back on Big Juicy. Yes, we are. But I decided not to wash it. This is just freshly after the takedown. I just took the braids out. Even though I am using all new stuff minus my Eco Styler, I'm always using my Eco Styler. But today, I wanted to try something I saw on YouTube, but I could not, since I am in Pittsburgh, find the S Curl Gel. So what I ended up getting was the uh, S Curl Activator. And I decided to go with Bella Curls today. And I have her Coconut Cream Curl Defining Cream. And then I have the Bella Curls Leave-In Conditioner. So those are the things I'll be using on my hair today. So Big Juicy can be thirsty with them. Okay. And then, of course, I have my water. So what I plan to do is I'm going to saturate it down with water. And just all over right quick. And the reason I decided not to wash it is because it's so late in the afternoon and I already know I'm going to go to bed with a wet head. There's no sense in going to bed with a socking of wet head. So we're just going to wet it a little bit. We already know that for wash and goes or for shingles, it needs to be overly saturated or you don't get as good of a turnout. But we're going to do it anyway. Because I'm not worried about every strand being twisted as much as I am <laughs> something being done to my hair for tomorrow <laughs> since I got to go to work. And uh, that fro ain't going to make it. It would have been gone by morning. So this is what we're going to do. I have my clamps here. Got these two. Got these two. And then I have my rat tail comb. I do not comb my hair. Okay. I always finger comb it. So that's what I will continue to do. And I don't section my hair into four sections. Okay. Okay. So what I do <laughs> is I just pull it up. And right now I still have all the shedding from taking it down. So we got that I'm dealing with on top of everything else. But what I do is I kind of get my top part separated a little bit here. So it's mostly back. And then I just kind of twist this up out of the way and clamp it. Like so. And I use the smaller clamps to help me with all of this. You forgot a step though, because I don't want to just do it like that. I wanted to wet it down and then just do the conditioner, that leave-in conditioner all over. So let me backtrack a little bit. Okay, that's enough with the water. That's enough with the water. I get carried away because I know she's thirsty. But I always dry my hands before I put product on. It seems to me to make it to, uh, lat or get in better. I'm going to do four pumps to start with. I've never used this coconut whip leave-in conditioner. I've never used Bella Curls. So we're just going to learn as we go here today all together now. And I don't think four is going to be enough for my liking. I got around the outside. Let's do four more and focus on that inside. I'm going to wipe my hands again. It's like I said, I've noticed that. Two, three, four. If anything's on your hands, it changes the way it applies to the hair. I really do like this bell of curls, though. <laughs> this is the leave-in conditioner, and I already see curl in my hair. I'm waiting to see if there's going to be buildup on my hair because my hair don't like certain stuff. But she'll eat it. Mm. 
but that's going to be it for the conditioner. I won't put any more on here. So there's eight pumps. Four on the outside, four on the inside. I like to remember all this because it matters sometimes. But anyway, we're done with that. Set that on out of the way. In the interest of time in the video, I'm not going to keep playing with it. Generally, I would keep sitting here until it was all gone. I don't even worry about being able to comb through my hair. That's not my objective. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm going to wipe all this off. And now we're going to divide it. So I can start doing it. But I'm already crazy about these curls I see coming. But I don't use heat on my hair, so I really don't mess with my curl pattern at all. All of my stretching is done through braids or twisting or bands. And I never use rubber bands because my hair is just super curly. And it'll just tangle around the rubber bands, so I don't use rubber bands ever. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I want to take, instead of using the water, now that I have a little bit of moisture here, I'm going to take this Curl Activator Moisturizer and I'm going to put this onto my sections and then I'm going to top it off with the Coconut Cream Curl Defining Cream from the Bella Curls. So, and then I'm going to put on the gel. So here we have four different products going on my hair. I'm going to take a little section over here though. I'm going to take quite a bit. Because I know me. And I'll get impatient at the end. And I'll have bigger chunks. So I just start out the way I know I'll end. Okay, so what I'm going to put on here first. I think is this cream. I'm gonna put the defining cream on first. No. Yeah, I wanna put the defining cream on first. I had to think about it, guys. We're gonna put a little bit of hair and cut this thing. That's slick. I like that. Okay. Okay. Now that I have that pulled through there. Curls is looking pretty good. I like them. I like them. Wiping my hands off, as you can see. Now I'm going to take this no drip. Oh, it's a new bottle, y'all. Hold on here. All right, there we go. Sticky, at least. That's always a concern of mine. And now that we have that on there, dry our hands. Probably two new steps for y'all already. But we're going to take a little bit of that gel. And we're going to go from root to tip. Root to tip. I hadn't decided if I was going to do shingles or if I was going to do a wash and go, but because I want to check out what this is going to do, I'm just going to do a wash and go for today. Because y'all know me, I'll change it today, tomorrow, I'll change it every day if I could. <laughs> if I got time, I'll change it. 
but I really just want to see the pattern from this. And all I'm going to do is give it one little twist just so I can pin it to the end. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, and we're going to move on over to the next little section. That's not enough. I don't like little sections because I ain't trying to spend all day doing their hair. Okay. So we'll twist that up. Okay. Same process. We're going to get our cream. Put our cream in. First, put the cream. First, put the cream. And then once we got our cream in here, We're going to spray it down. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Okay. Get us a little curl at the bay in there. Maybe I don't need to come by again. Why are you gonna have the meat down? 